With the release of NiFi Registry 0.2.0, flow contents can now be stored under a Git directory using the new Git Flow Persistence Provider. This tutorial walks you through how to configure this provider in NiFi Registry so that versioned flows in NiFi are automatically saved to a Git repository. First, create a new repository. And we'll call this one versioned flows. Then let's clone this repository locally using the git clone command. Let's copy this URL. Go to terminal, use git clone. Now we have a local copy of the repo. Next, go back to GitHub to the developer settings and create a new personal access token. Now we can configure the registry. Let's go to the installation directory for registry in the conf directory and select providers.xml. Let's change the flow persistence provider class to the git flow persistence provider. change the flow storage directory to the directory where we clone the repo. For remote to push, put origin. Remote access user, put in your GitHub username. And for the remote access password, put in the personal access token that we just created and make sure to save. Then start up your registry with these new settings. Go to settings to create a new bucket. Now we have created bucket one in the registry. Next, start up your NiFi instance. In the global menu, set up your registry client, pointing it to our local registry. Now create a new process group. And place this process group under version control. And save this flow. Now if you go back to GitHub, and you find your repository, you'll see that the bucket and the flow has been saved to this repository. As you can see, buckets are represented as directories and flow contents are stored as files in the bucket directory they belong to. Flow snapshot histories are managed as git commits, meaning only the latest version of buckets and flows exists in the git directory. Thank you for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it.